Well, g'day, Glav here and welcome back and thanks for checking back in also. So today, 9th of April 2020, we're going to do a ride out to Blackbutt, which is about a 380k round trip. We're going to take in the regional towns of Fernvale, Esk, Blackbutt, Crow's Nest, then home. We're going to call this ride today the COVID-19 ride. Why COVID-19? It's because who the fuck knows whether we're supposed to be doing this or not. The ABC, which is the Australian Broadcasting Corporation, government owned, published last week that they checked with the Queensland Health Department, who confirmed that a solo motorcycle ride is classed as exercise and therefore permissible. This was also confirmed just a few days later by a well-known motoring journalist who also independently checked with the Queensland Health Department and confirmed the same. At the same time, you have our classy Premier of Queensland on TV and also her police commissioner stating that if you're caught riding or driving for pleasure, you're going to cop a $1,300 odd dollar fine and for my time mates that's 27000 baht. So who the hell really knows if it's okay to ride or not? The facts are in my particular case I can't actually exercise at the moment because I have a stretched ligament in my leg and a bursitis attack in my hip which hopefully a steroid injection will fix this coming week. It's also a fact that a motorcycle ride is good for a man's or woman's mental health. On our ride, we had zero contact with anyone with the exception of a two metre lawful social distancing when I paid my gas bill. This is far safer than even going to a supermarket. I'm not disagreeing with the lockdown and I'm not disagreeing that we're essentially in martial law. However, the frustrating part is our politician and bureaucrats and public servants don't appear to be able to apply any common sense whatsoever and clearly that is what is required at a time such as this. Big reach out to the bros in Thailand as I know you can't ride without risking a 40,000 baht which is a $2,000 fine. Enough said, let's now get on with the ride. Hope you enjoy. So we're rolling into Fernvale here which is about 47 kilometres from home. Fernvale is a regional town in the Somerset region of South East Queensland. It's got an estimated population of about 3,200 people. It's a rapidly developing rural town located in the urban footprint of South East Queensland. Nothing much to see here from a tourist point of view but some good bakeries and coffee shops to stop at for motorcycle riders and tourists alike. Coming into Esk here, which is about 42 kilometres from Fernvale and about 89 kilometres from the ride start. It's got a population of about 1,700 people here. Uh, from here, there's a road called the Esk Hampton Road, which takes you up the Great Dividing Range, and it's a great piece of motorcycling road. Tight, twisty, scenic, etc., etc. We'll actually be coming down that road on the way back. For motorcyclists, there's bakeries and takeaway shops and coffee readily available here. Blackbutt is a rural town with a population of about 900 people. It's located on the Diagula Highway and is about 155 kilometres from Ride Start and about 66 k's from Esk. The town is named after a eucalyptus tree called Eucalyptus pilaris, commonly known as Blackbutt, a common tree native to southeast Queensland. 
but one of the most important hardwoods we've got. Blackbutt's a very pretty little town and once again good bakery, coffee shops and stuff to stop at for motorcyclists. So here we are at Blackbutt. Um, being good social citizens, we're doing our social distancing. But furthermore, being serious, uh, we actually brought our own coffee and snacks, so um, not actually going to the shop and not interfacing with any other person, um, which I think is reasonably responsible. So, um, happy days from here on. We'll be heading through from here to Crow's Nest, probably stop there for our own coffee again, and then head on home from there. Coming into Crow's Nest here, which is about 90 kilometres ride from Blackbutt and about 245 kilometres from where we started. It's located in the Darling Downs region and on the New England Highway and has a population of about 2,100 people. Uh, Crow's Nest was established on the Dalla tribal Aboriginal lands, which was declared a town in about 1876. It's claimed by some that the town was named after an Aborigine called Jimmy Crow and who gave directions to early European settlers. He lived in a big hollow tree near the police station which became known as Crow's Nest. His statue of Jimmy Crow is located in the town square. So now at Crow's Nest, um, having another self-isolating coffee which is all with how socially responsible. Uh, from here we'll be heading back down the range, which is a nice ride to Esk, and then from there straight home. From Crow's Nest we're going to head down through Lake Perseverance and hook up with the Esk Campton Road, which will take us down the Great Dividing Range. This is a great piece of motorcycling road. It's 51 kilometres from Crow's Nest um, down to Esk and then about another 80 odd home. We're going to stop at Lake Perseverance and uh, take a bit of a gander there, throw the drone up and see what we can see. So here we are in uh, Lake Perseverance. Um, never been here before, I passed through quickly a couple of rides ago but uh, put some drain footage here and hopefully it'll work out okay. Pretty uh, picturesque spot. Well we've only just stumbled on and discovered this lake and it's a nice twisty bit of road to get there. Lake Perseverance is one of Toowoomba's main water supplies but unlike other lakes water sports fishing, boating and windsurfing are not permitted at the lake generally speaking. Some water sports can be arranged through the local aquatic club. From here at Lake Perseverance we're going to head down the S Campton Road taking us down the Great Dividing Rage back to Esk and then from Esk some 80 odd kilometres home. Happy days, happy riding.
Well, normally I'd sign off by telling you live life today, but I guess that's a bit impossible at the moment given the current shitty circumstances. Therefore, I'd like to say to you, stay safe, friends.